Hello, World Wide Web. Uh, this is James, your favorite stock picker, picker guy. I'm not going to uh, be picking them today. We're going to look at the top movers on the uh, over-the-counter market. Uh, I really don't know why, except for one reason. It's here, and I don't know why it's here. Maybe it's to trick people into losing money, or maybe there could be something good in there. I have no idea. So we're just going to take a look at a few of them. Uh, this is Winning Brands Corporation. I believe that says one ten thousandths of a penny. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you guys do the math. Uh, six months, kind of a flat line, five years, one month. And we get a chart here that doesn't say zero on it. All right, well, it recently made it to that level from a much lower level. So it's up, <laughs> I guess. In five days, it's down. It did, did hit uh, double this. It should be noted early April. So maybe, uh, I don't know. I guess you couldn't make money like that. But the bid and the ask spread, I'm sure, covers it. Uh, do they have any revenue? Well, I looked at their website for starters, just a spoiler. It's called Winning Brands. They have probably the world's worst website. They sell a stain remover. They sell some kind of laundry solution called Brilliant. And then Track Moist is a dirt surface and performance enhancer. And Regard for fire safety cleaners. So this is the business. They put up like a $5 website on, it, on Weebly or something. I don't even know how they... Our company encouraging spirited independent brands. So these aren't even like their brands, I don't think. These are other people's brands. And maybe they put it together under this distributorship, which they're trying to call a company of which they will try to find investors to buy it. And we'll probably see some self-serving news eventually out of here. But let's just see if they do have any numbers. Hey, look at that. They had a positive quarter. $100,000 in sales, $12,000 in income. Huh. Well, that's I didn't expect to see that, to be honest with you. For 2020... $39,000 in income, quarter quarter million dollars in revenue. Wow, one of them products must be selling uh, for a whole year. Uh, they did it. It looks like they did uh, 66000 the next year in income and $407,000 in revenue. I didn't think you could find real companies in here. Do we have one? Uh, the quarterly runs through June of 2022. It's a little suspicious. Uh, we're in 2023 in March. Uh, maybe they quit reporting already. I'm thinking this must be a joke. Um, their balance sheet would have, oh shit, $2 million in debt thrown on there. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody's piggy bank. This is somebody who uh, financed it up to the walls. Uh, Took every penny they could on credit, probably took every penny they could possibly get on an IPO, which probably wasn't that much. And then they ran away sometime in the last June, would be my guess. Apparently, they sold some product along the way. I don't know to who, but usually that's a calling card that goes along with these things to keep them out of, out of prison. They try to move a little bit of product. So they do make an effort to move it. It's usually not out of profit, though. That was weird. They made uh, you know almost $100,000 selling cleaning stuff, I suppose. Um, crazy. Uh, Ontario, Canada, Winning Brands Corporation. Um, I don't know. Are they going to be the next Johnson & Johnson? I don't think so. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. But wow, the... The debt line here really tells a story, doesn't it? Two million dollars. I wonder what they think they bought for two million dollars. It looks like the uh, it was five point five three million dollars, and they actually somehow paid it down to almost three million dollars. It's two point seven five million dollars, but apparently that's when they cut out right there. But why would he pay it down? Maybe that's part of the illusion, also. We borrow five, we pay off half of it, and then we run, and then we look like we were trying to pay. I think it's just uh, what they call a Joe job, where you're pretending you're doing the right thing and you're not. Um, 
when you look at their five dollar website uh i don't know they 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 actually did some sales maybe they just bought it from themselves with the two million dollars you know spend a quarter million on product yourself you're getting right back the money anyhow you just pretty much fill out the paperwork for it you don't have to really have any money exchange hands probably um Operating expense was $171,000. Yeah, that was them just taking it right back and putting it in their pocket. Um, yeah, okay. So, well, scam number one, Winning Brands uh, Corporation, uh, probably being investigated by the SEC and at the top of the movers list today for the over-the-counter. Uh, next video, please. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. If we find one of these things to be real, we're going to get all excited. So stay tuned for the next one.